Hi, this is Jupiter Jim, and this demonstration blog uses WordPress version 3.0.1 along with the thesis theme version 1.8. And you must be using thesis theme version 1.7 or 1.8 or higher in order to follow along with this video tutorial. Now, this may work with thesis theme version 1.6 or earlier. I just don't know because I haven't tested it. Now, you must download and install an FTP client onto your computer in order to complete this video tutorial. FTP stands for File Transfer Protocol, and an FTP client is just a simple little software program that allows you to transfer files from your computer up to your WordPress blog. Another way to put it is the software program takes files from the hard drive on your computer and transfers those files to the server that holds your WordPress blog account and all the files in your WordPress blog. Now, I just happen to be using FileZilla FTP client for this video tutorial. It is free. There are other FTP clients you can use. There's FileZilla, there's CyberDuck, there's WinSCP, and FileZilla is free. I believe the, those other two are free as well. Now, you can, all, if you're on a Mac, you'd need to use Transmit, which is free with a few provisos or a few conditions. Um, to find any one of these FTP programs or FTP clients, if you want to call them that, just search on Google. It'll bring you to the website, and you can download it. Okay, we're ready. Let's get started. Hi, this is Jupiter Jim and from jupiterjim.com and I'm at my demonstration blog, Jim's Max JXL Marketing Team. And I'm just going to scroll up and down uh, the blog homepage for a second so you can kind of get a lay of the land. Now on the right hand side that you can see there's an embedded YouTube video and that video is embedded in a section of the thesis theme called the multimedia box. I'm just going to play it briefly, this video, so you can see that it is in fact a video. I'm going to show you first of all how to get the default rotating images to rotate through this multimedia box and in the second half of this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to put your own pictures in the multimedia box to rotate through your own static pictures. So the first thing I'm going to do is click on this tab where I've already logged in to Jim's Max JXL marketing team. This brings me to the dashboard. So I'm going to scroll down here and there is a thesis tab. Just click on that down arrow to the right and then where it says design options just a left click and it will bring you to thesis design options. You can see that at the top of the page. Scroll almost to the bottom and you will see multimedia box. To the right there's a little plus sign. Mouse over it. It turns orange. Click it. You get it expands and right down here you just happen to be looking at this is the embedded code for the video that you were just looking at but we don't need that anymore okay so we're gonna click on this down arrow that says embed a video and we're just gonna click on the rotating images now once I'm done with that make sure you click to the right to deselect that drop-down menu go up here click on the big green button and I'm going to go back to the blog and I'm going to hit refresh. Now this blog is still showing the video because there is a lag in uh, having this propagate down to my browser right here. So I'm just going to click on and look in another browser on my computer and you can see, let me just scroll up and down, you can see it's the exact same page and the exact same blog and um, on the right hand side you can see the multimedia box it has a static picture of a cappuccino now as I click around to the different pages it the multimedia box rotates through the different static images that were uploaded by default with the thesis theme now these I'm gonna click down here on a folder on my computer and this folder contains five images and these are the five images that I want to rotate through the multimedia box um, as I mouse over I'm just gonna mouse over this picture here you can see the dimensions are 384 pixels wide 288 high or tall and if, as I mouse to the right the dimensions for this picture are 400 by 267 and 
420 by 279. And the reason I mention that is when you're uploading pictures, you want them to be as big as or wider than the multimedia box. If the picture's too small and you just put like a little thumbnail in, it will be stretched to fill up inside that whole multimedia box and the picture will get distorted. Okay, now for the second half of this video, I'm going to work in an FTP client called FileZilla. And we're going to use that FTP client to upload these five pictures onto the server that's holding or hosting my WordPress blog, Jim's Max Jixel Marketing Team. So I'm going to click down here, and this brings me to FileZilla. Now, on the left-hand side of uh, this FTP client, or FTP program, whatever you want to call it, um, I have all, this is, this will let me navigate through all of the pictures uh, or folders on my computer. So up here, you can see I've got the pictures up there. So as I click on that, right there, all everything in the pictures folder, all the folders in the pictures folder are right here as I scroll up and down. Okay, I'm just going to, this is the rotator new pics. This is the one we were just looking at. I'm gonna right click and refresh just to make sure um, all the current pictures are in there. I'm going to double click here and you can see these are the pictures of the five catamarans we were just looking at on that folder on my hard drive. Now on the right hand side of FileZilla you will see all the files for my blog. So the name of my blog is Jim's Max GXL Team and that's what you see as the URL. So you're going to click on the name of your blog, click on the little plus arrow, and you get some folders underneath it. Then you're going to click on the WP content, and right to the right of it, you can click on that, or double click on that, or you can just click on the plus sign to the right of that, and I'll scroll down a little bit. And you can see there's six folders under WP content for WordPress content. And you can see we've got themes. I can click on that once, and that gives us, these are all the themes, one, two, three, four, five. There are five folders for the themes. So Suffusion is a free theme. 2010 is the default theme. And these are, this is the thesis theme. Thesis 1.8 for version 1.8, and I stuck an A after that because I uploaded the thesis theme three times because this is a demonstration blog and I wanted to do different things for, for different demonstrations. But I'm going to double click inside thesis 1.8. Yours might say thesis 1.6, 1.7, 1.8, or 2.0 when that comes out. Once you double click on that, it's gonna open up that folder. Inside that folder is a custom folder. You wanna double click on the custom folder. Inside that is the rotator folder, and you're going to double click on that. And these are the five pictures that you were just looking at of the balloon and the cappuccino. And these five pictures are uploaded by default when you install the thesis theme. Now, what I'm gonna do is just give you a little $20 tip. Um, I'm going to go back to the folders on my computer hard drive, and I'm going to uh, click on, well, let me go click on this folder here. That brings me up to all the folders in my picture folder, and I'm going to double click on Rotator Original, and I'm gonna take these five pics, and I can drag them, because I want them to be downloaded into that folder just for safe storage in case I wanna use them again, or whatever. You can also right click and click download, that'll put that in. Or just drag it over. Okay, now I've saved these five pictures just in case I may need them for whatever reason. Then I'm gonna click shift, or just click each one of them. You can delete them individually. I'm gonna right click and delete. You can right click and delete them individually depending on what program you're using. I'm using the FileZilla FTP program. Really delete five files? Yes sir. Okay, now I'm going to click on this folder. It brings me back up to my pictures folder right here. I'm going to scroll back down and there are, I'm going to double click, see where it says rotator new pics? Those are the 
catamarans. That's the folder that has the five catamarans. And I can up drag these over, upload them individually. I can highlight them all, right click, upload. I'll just drag this one over and drag this one over. I'm going to right click on this one, upload. And these two I will just highlight together, right click, and upload. Just showing you different ways that you can do that. Now, we are basically done. You would just, at this point, close out of your FileZilla program or whatever FTP program you're using. So I'm going to minimize this. I'm going to go back to the blog. We are now in um, using uh, Mozilla Firefox. And let me click on some of these other pages and let's see if those pictures do in fact show up. Now they're not showing up right now because like I said, there's a bit of a lag that takes place. So let me open up a new browser because those pictures are probably stored in the browser cache. And so I'm going to type in here, Jim's Max GXL team. Now, in the upper right-hand corner, you can see it says sample dash 3 Dot JPEG and there's just a blank area in here and that's frustrating and disconcerting sometimes because it appears that we did everything right and yet the pictures are not showing up on my browser right now. I'm glad this happened because this can happen to you as well. It just takes some time, sometimes several minutes, sometimes many minutes before the picture or the rotating images actually show up in the multimedia box. So let me click refresh up here and you can see it's still not working and I've it's been a long time. I've actually taken a break. Now the old rotating images are showing up. And now finally we get the catamarans that I uploaded are starting to show up. So you can see you can apparently run into glitches, but it just takes time and time resolves the issue if you've done it right. Let me also just go back to, here is the original blog uh, page. It's in my Google Chrome browser. I'm just going to hit refresh but I'm clicking on these different pages. It rotates through the different images and when you go back to the these pages the same Im image will not show up every time. And that's all there is to uploading your own images into the rotator folder so they end up in the multimedia box in the thesis theme. Thank you so much for watching and I hope this helped you out.